Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to factor um, this sixth degree polynomial. And um, we have actually two approaches to do it, and I'll do it both ways to show you that um, you get to the same place. All right, first, we're going to view it as uh, a difference of squares. Remember, difference of squares is like a squared minus b squared, right, of that type. And we'd say that this equals a plus b times a minus b. It's like one of my favorite things in the world. Um, all right, cool. There it is. Um, and so if we uh, use this approach, then we'd have to write that our polynomial is the same as, um, we'd say, like, x cubed um, and then um, squared, right? to get the x to the sixth back. And then we'd say minus, and then we'd say like um, one squared. And so like, um, I'm saying like too much. <laughs> so um, a is x cubed and then b is one, right? Like if we look at that in this, it's clear a is x cubed and b is one. So we'd write a plus b times a minus b. So here it is. Um, and a plus b would say um, x cubed, and then 1, and then x cubed, and then 1. But in the one case, we'd say uh, minus, and the other plus. doesn't matter which precedes. Like, we could write these two in the reciprocal order, and it would work, or in the reverse order. Yeah, OK, OK, OK. Anyway, anyway, now. Um, we need difference of cubes and sum of cubes formulas, right? And I'll write those over here. So like we know a cubed minus b cubed is equal to, and it's a minus b times um, a squared plus ab plus b squared, right? And then um, we also know a cubed plus b cubed is equal to, uh, a plus b times um, a squared minus a b uh, plus b squared, right? Okay, cool. Difference of cubes, right there, that's how you factor. Sum of cubes, right there, that's how you factor. Okay, so we know we need difference of cubes there and sum of cubes. And uh, in both cases, a is x and b is 1. It's just that we need to write like 1 cubed there and 1 cubed there. But 1 cubed is 1, so we're good. OK, so using um, difference of cubes first, we can replace this guy with um, the following. And I guess I got to use a white equal sign OK, um, to stay consistent. So this guy, um, based on this and that, we can write as, um, as um, x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. You could do it slower than I'm doing it if you'd like. But this is just a mere replacement for that. Now we need a replacement for this. And that guy, right, this guy, using this guy, we could write as um, x plus 1 times, and it's going to be x squared minus x plus one. Now, um, I don't know that you already know this, but and the sum of cubes and difference of cubes factoring, this quadratic and this quadratic cannot be factored over the real numbers. That is to say, this is an irreducible quadratic, and this too is an irreducible quadratic over the reals. So we're done factoring. If somehow it makes you happier, we can write x minus one and x plus one next to each other, and then we can write um, x squared plus x plus 1, then x squared minus x plus 1. And so this is our final answer. This is as factored as we can get it. But I did say that there are two different ways to do this. So let's uh, record this somewhere, like say right there, and um, do it another way. And um, I don't want this to suggest that what I our answer is just an application of a uh, difference of square. So let's put this here. It's not confusing. Okay, so I kept our answer so that we can check that the other approach gets us to the same place. And the other approach is instead of starting with difference of squares, to start with difference of cubes. 
and here's how you could do that. You could view this as x squared cubed and then minus 1 cubed. Um, and now you have to start with um, difference of cubes. So that is a difference of cubes right there. Uh, it's just that this time a is x squared and b is 1. Right? So executing this um, here, we would have to write um, a is again x squared and b is 1. So we'd write x squared minus 1 and then times and it's going to be um, x to the fourth and then it's because it's right here x squared squared and then it's going to be um, plus x squared and then uh, plus one right okay cool and now uh, we will have well this by using difference of squares is just um, x plus one times x minus one right and then we have this here which is x to the fourth x to the fourth um, plus x squared plus one right okay now the only issue is like okay so where to from here because this this here is supposed to match this well an easy claim an easy way out for me is for you, for me to tell you to multiply these two guys and show that they in fact equal this which is true um, but I should just show you how to factor this right and I will so um, let's work just on this guy and how to factor it I guess we could have made another video of that but it's x to the fourth um, plus x squared um, plus one right we can say that this guy is x to the fourth uh, I'll dedicate a video to it but I'll do it quickly here and then it's plus um, 2x squared plus 1. Notice that I just changed this into a 2x squared. Now I'm going to make up for it by writing minus x squared. And here's why I like that. Because now this here is uh, the binomial x squared plus 1 all squared. Right? This here is the same as that. And then um, I will still have to write minus x squared but then now this here is a difference of squares right there right specifically a is x squared plus one and b is um, just x so if you use difference of squares on this you'd have to write um, x squared uh, plus one um, and then minus x that's a minus b and then times a plus b which is x squared plus one um, plus x but wait, these two guys are just these two guys with the terms written out of order. So I just showed you that this is the same as that um, in a pretty cool way, right? Hopefully. Yeah, cool, cool. So so we're done, yeah? Both ways. Um, yeah, and like I said, I'll probably make a video of that, even though it seems like it could just be a hidden gem here, right? Okay, cool. Take care.